Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got yo man, we got the OG Ice T man. You know what I'm saying? My man got a strong message for um uh, you know for, for them folks that got the you know what I'm saying they got, they got he got a strong message, right? He got a strong message, man. Uh, we got some information on Gunner Man, uh, Young Thugs rapper Yat y- Gotti, and what what's going down with him now, man. And we also have um uh, who else we got over here? We got Meek Mill talking crazy and Fifty. On the Rico and Lil Dirk again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're any part of the. Key said, What up, man? Be sure to hit that like button if you're any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell's waiting for your tap, so go on and give it a touch. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man, so go on and touch that too. Okay? Um, uh. <laughs> I'm thinking about the juicy mouth fitness. Right? Um, because folks are talking about that. Like, hey, oh, they say you choose me. Whatever. Look, we're gonna set your weekend off with you. Set you off with some good news for today, man. You know what Because it's Friday. You know what I'm saying? The weekend is preparing for your arrival, man. Look, the good news today is coming to you courtesy of Lil Dirk. Okay? Lil Dirk has stated, quote, this is what he said. He said, wait, 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 wait. Hold on for a second. Cause you know, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I gotta see, I gotta see what my joints look like. All right. Lil Dirk has stated, he said. How I'm the voice of the trenches. I take care of my kids, but don't spend time with them. Wait, wait, wait. I got to reread this. How I'm the voice of the trenches. I take care of my kids, but don't spend time with them. My goal is to better my relationship with them, not ish else or blame anybody around me. I'm a great father. I'm going to step it up and lock in and become the voice 100%. Love y'all. Close quote. Did you hear that, man? Did you hear it? This Yo, the scariest thing this man has said is we have to take accountability. <laughs> you like, bro, 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 son, son, chill, fam. Yo, chill with the A word. <laughs> it sounds like, it almost sounds like you telling us to be accountable, my nigga. <laughs> Dirk is like, yes, not blame everybody around me. Bro, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We out. You know what I'm saying? That's what, like, look, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I think I think Kevin Samuel, Samuel said it best. I believe he said it best. Yeah, I don't be listening to the man. But I think he said it best. He said, well, I never listened to the man. But he said, accountability is like kryptonite for some folks. <laughs> Look, that's why God is like, yo, you have to confess that you're a sinner and th- that you're going to make a change. Folks are like, hell no. <laughs> and you know, God is like, well, for you, it's probably going to be hell yes. Uh, hey, hey, look, I didn't come up with the word, man. He did, okay? Anyway, look, 50 Cent released... Yo, how, how can I say this? 50 Cent, I gotta... See, when I when I get on Celeb Source, right, I try to say only the things... I try to only say the things that I would say to a person in real life, okay? 50 Cent released um two clips yesterday. One of the clips that he released on, the, on, his, on, the, on a gram was him saying... I am not gang gang. I do not gang bang. But play me like I'm seeing I'll pull up and bang bang. Right? He posted that joint. I'm like, I like wait, wait. I I I quoted 50's scripture. Uh, scripture. I quoted 50's line and then 50 reposted the line that I quoted. So I, I, I was like, yo, 50 bit off of me. 50 cent bit off of me quoting his own lyrics. No, no, no. He was on point with that, though. But listen, 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 okay? 50 also released an interview, right, that he did talking about the Rico charges. Now, hopefully this joint played because we tried to play the I am not, not gang. I am not gang gang joint, and it didn't play. All right, Keys, we get it, man. You know what I'm saying? We get it. We understand that you, you're, you're here, fam. We get it. Take a listen to what 50 had to say real quick. Different level of attention. Mm-hmm. And then culturally, they're going gang, gang, gang. When I get on the record, on the record with them, I go, I am not gang gang. <laughs> I do not gang bang. <laughs> Immediately. Because <laughs> I, I don't like Rico. I don't like conspiracy. Yeah, right. like you know, give me a homicide right now. I take a homicide right now before you give me that. Because, look, look John Gotti will walk out the courtroom successful three times until they start calling him Teflon Don homicides. And then they come with that Rico. That Rico yeah, and then you 23 and 1 Marion. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> You know, it get crazy. So, like that, that those laws were designed for you not to escape them. You know, so it, it'd be a tough, 
that term when I saw what I saw in, in the paper, mm-hmm. I, I I feel like he gonna tell on everything. Uh, l- listen, 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 t- listen, listen. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> Folks are like, you can't tell me nothing, man. I know what it is. I know what I'm doing. And then they go to jail. You know what I'm saying? L- listen. I was reading the scriptures when I woke up this morning, right? The joint said, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And then he goes, he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The next line goes, because you have rejected knowledge, I will reject you. Close quote. See, the knowledge is available. It's just that folks don't want it. it look, if you have wisdom, right, you'll be able to pick up knowledge from anywhere. You can get it from any source, good or bad, if you got wisdom. Right? You follow what I'm saying? That's why the chief thing you should pray for is wisdom every single day. Those of y'all that pray, pray for wisdom, man. You see what I'm saying? Listen, if you don't have wisdom, knowledge will go over your head. In fact, knowledge will smack you square in the face and you will reject it. You know what I'm saying? That's if you lack wisdom. Uh, Where we at over here? All right, listen. The OG Ice-T has taken a break from doing another Cheerios commercial to drop some wisdom on the youth dem. The OG posted, this is what he said. He goes, it's easy to make the streets think you're gangster. It's hard to convince the feds that you're not. Ain't that sad, man? Look, the man is right. You can't resist the strength of that particular argument. Listen, if you convince the streets that you're gangster, what do you get? Nothing. You get haters. You follow what I'm saying, man? And and actually, you get the feds too. Look, look, here's the craziest part. What the streets will give you in exchange for being gangster is minimal. You're like, but celeb, because the streets know I'm gangster and I will kill them, everyone is now afraid of me. Are they? Are they afraid of you? Not when you're in prison. Are you following my drift, man? Let me do my shout outs real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, maybe if I do my shout outs, you might get the picture there. Where my shout outs at? Do I have shout outs on deck? I know I do because I'm always very grateful for all of y'all that be coming through, man. Real talk. I love y'all. Uh, shout out to Samuel Gonzalez. My man said, hey, Celeb, this is Sammy. Hey, what up, Sammy? He said, have you ever considered working for the radio? I think you'll be a great fit. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we appreciate that, fam. But I must say, no. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the radio telling me what I can and cannot say. You know what I mean? I could be like, yo, yo, we talking about promethazine today. We talking about killing today. We talking about everything today. We talking about Jesus today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, how about accountability? Hey, hey. You're going to get rid of our constituents, right? Is that what they call? You're going to get rid of our listeners. <sighs> I don't know. I, yeah, I would never do. Um, Because then, because when you actually, I got to clock in. I'd have to clock in and I'm so sick and tired of clocking in. That's the worst thing about life for me. The worst thing about life is waking up very early when I don't want to, like being forced to have to wake up. And somebody's like, where are you? You haven't shown up. You're late. Joe Von King came through and says, Celeb, honestly, your non sequiturs and rambling tangential speech pattern make you extremely annoying and hard to listen to. It's a shame because I tune in. Because I want to hear the gossip topics that you highlight, which seem interesting. <laughs> but I can't enjoy because of your delivery. <laughs> I don't know. Do your thing. Just, just know I think you could do better. <laughs> Jovan. A lot of folks cover the same to- content as me, fam. Okay? With the kind of delivery that you're looking for, son. So feel free to go somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? The door is open, fam. Like, what? Thank you for, for um, commenting. I, I appreciate the criticism. Not everybody likes the delivery. I just want to throw this out here, man. When I decided to do Celeb Source, I said, I ain't doing nothing unusual. I'm just going to speak like I normally speak and just so that it don't become a job. It don't become hard. You know what I'm saying? So what you're getting is just what I am. You know what I mean? When I'm in a classroom, have, like when I get hype, it goes like this. This is what it is. Kids is looking at me like, uh, Celeb, can you please get down off the chair? <laughs> are you are you on something? I'm like, fam, this is how I teach. Uh, you like, wait, they call you Celeb? Nah. Um, and Yvonne Witherspoon. Oh, wait, I shouted you out yesterday. Girl, she looked like she on a black and lovely thing, man. Dark and lovely, whatever it is called. Yvonne, you. Let me, let me, let me keep it going. I don't want to get in trouble. What's my trade looking like? Am I am I up today? Am I down? Uh, I'm up. Okay, look, check this out. Check this out. Um, Meek Mill has stated. This is what he said. 
He goes, shrooms can heal the hood. Close quote. Essentially letting you know that he believes magic mushrooms can heal the hood. You see that? The artists that have thousands upon thousands of followers and, and, uns and a seemingly endless supply of funds is letting you know that mush the drugs, mushrooms, can heal the hood. Not education, not diminishing the income gap, not reading scriptures, not reading in general, not taking things personally, not, not taking things personally. No, not those things. Shrooms. <laughs> And, and then and then he spelled the word wrong. I mean, come on. He spelled it strooms. <sighs> See, this is why I do this. This is why I do this. At least if I could offset the damage. You follow what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here trying to offset the damage. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to offset the damage because when you're not looking right, the children are listening to this. And that is what they're hearing. Crying out loud. Anyway... And finally, yeah, it's a short one today, I know. You're like, yo, Salab, this is way too short. Bro, uh, the kids got me upset today. Listen, I never get upset in class. I never get upset. I had to tell them. Let me not say too much, because then they're going to be like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So wait, you're, you're Celeb? Then I got to deal with that. Listen, didn't we tell you? Didn't we say it in English? Didn't we tell you already? Listen, about the conspiracy and the RICO stuff, another member of YSL by the name of Yak Gotti has been roped into the RICO charge. Look, listen, in 2019, right, Yak Gotti decided it was a good idea to stand on the hood of YFN Lucci's car, which was parked at Lenox Mall in Buckhead, right? He posed, someone snapped the pic, he took the pic and used it for an album cover. And added the caption. This is what he said. He goes, quote, YFN, if I ain't like what you did for your mother and kids, I would have been killed you. This is what he said. If I ain't like what you did for your mother and your kids, I would have been killed. You. There's, a, there's a little tiny something about that that I actually like. I like the fact that he was honorable enough to say, I like the fact you did something good for your mother and your children. Otherwise, I just like that part. That's the only part I like. He said, uh, but he said, if I didn't like the fact that you did that, I would have been killed you. Bad move. Okay. Now the joke's on you, fam, because because of that pick, he is now also being investigated. Look, the document stated, quote, this is what the document said. It goes, an associate of YSL posted an image of on social media tagging YFN Lucci. They added his, it's like, it's like the DA is working for YFN Lucci now. They added his post, the, you know, if I ain't like what you did, I would have killed you. They added that and they stated, this was an overt act in furtherance of conspiracy. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't I tell you? All you got to do is high five. High five. Hey, what's up, man? High five. Conspiracy. You were talking to, you talk to them. That's conspiracy. Listen, if you talk crazy to an op on social media, and a RICO charge is on the people that you you down with. They looking at you crazy. Are you following my drift? Any of the crazy talk you did to the ops? If <laughs> that's nuts. That's like if I spoke about another YouTuber. Right? Well, uh, let me keep it going. You're like, what YouTuber are you talking about? I'm not talking about any YouTubers in particular. I don't got no beef with any other YouTubers. There are other YouTubers I actually watch. You're like, like who? I don't even want to admit it. I right, listen. I, I listen to... Well, let me keep it going. You like who? It doesn't matter. Uh, by the way, are you aware that the hoodie that Gunner was wearing in his mugshot has become a hot commodity? See, apparently, La Rosa, I think that's what it's called, La Ropa? La Ropa? Has stated that the sales of their hoodies have went up 15% since that pick of Gunna was released. Ain't that crazy, man? So people are essentially like, hey, I saw you get arrested. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In that hoodie. So I want to wear it now. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, y'all let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Whatever the um, artists that got roped up in the Rico are wearing, are you trying to look for those, that, that clothing line now? <laughs>
know what I'm saying? Do you think well, it will make you a better person? Oh, shoot. My trade is going south. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.